That could be something now. <laughs> KG and I are in Aspen, Colorado, hunting for the long lost personal mouse of computer icon Steve Jobs. Now that we've found the time capsule, it takes us two hours of moving dirt to loosen this thing up. You guys ready to pull this thing? All right. We did it. Look at it that. It's out. 30 years, boom. Here it is. KG gets the saw, makes the final cut. Oh, it's That's loose. It. And I can feel the end cap come right off in my hands. Holy crap, holy oh, smoke! The 13-foot tube is packed full of nectar. So I look in the tube. There's a little plastic bag in there. I reach in, I grab it. Look. I, I mean, I kind of let go of it because I, I panicked like it was like a hot stove. Oh. Couldn't be. There it is! Yeah! We got the mouse. Woohoo! Wow! I got wow. goosebumps. Oh my God! Woo. Look at this thing. God, that's incredible. Oh Steve Jobs' yeah. mouse. This is the Lisa computer mouse that Steve Jobs used at the 1983 conference. And just to be sure this is the real deal, we brought along technology expert Marcel Brown. You can tell this is an original Lisa mouse yeah. because wow. of the small button. Oh. Right. This is a very important piece of history. In 1983, Steve Jobs gave this speech that showed just what kind of visionary he was. He predicted things like wireless networking. He predicted the explosion of email, uh, the iPad, even the iPhone. And for Steve Jobs to have used this mouse in that speech to predict the future, I think this is priceless, perhaps. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible, huh? Wow. wow. wow.